We have a question from James. My question sits at the intersection between aesthetics and performance. Uh, there must be a, a Subway sandwich place there uh, at that intersection. Subjectively, I feel as though the early games and muscle size I saw with easy strength has leveled off or perhaps even receded a bit. Yeah, because easy strength is about getting stronger and... I think the hormonal cascade, uh, you, you, you just have to get the loads up. This despite the fact that, objectively speaking, I've continued to gain strength. For example, I'm correlating shoulder development to the older overhead press. I like the idea of gaining strength without too much bulk, so I don't mind at all. However, I'm curious, have you seen similar results with your clients? Yes. If so, is this pattern more common with individuals who are new to serious strength training? Uh, let's Let's... Put that one to the side. <clears throat> what might be going on? I'm guessing there's something to the idea that easy strength makes you really own the weight you're working with all the way through muscles, tendons, joints, uh, neurological correction, learned technique, and so on. The result over time is a very efficient level of strength relative to the body weight. And James, you've missed uh, one of my most important points about easy strength. I don't think I've ever rec recommended more than two rounds of easy strength back to back. I've done that. I've done that a number of times and it works well. And the reason is this, is that easy strength works on one quality, strength. And at the end of those, say like I do dedicate, uh, so a round of easy strength is 40 workouts. For me, that's eight weeks. If I do it twice, that's 16 weeks. Now, 16 weeks is a lot of weeks. Uh, I mean, that is just a ton of time in the weight room to focus on one thing. At the end of those six weeks, let's just say my bench, pre um, <clears throat> now, I, now I'm doing my lifetime best in the incline bench. My sets are twos and fives. I feel good. You know, I'm strong. Well, after that, then I slide back almost universally to one of my hypertrophy workouts. Uh, the transformation program, we just talked about that, three sets of eight. Uh, it, it, higher rep programs are, you're, after doing pure strength for a while, it's time to chase a new quality. Um, and any program you work with higher, with higher reps, more exercises, more workout generator, you know, more variability, that's going to help you for a while. But here's the thing, and then you don't have to go crazy along on it, but Let's just say you did a round of easy strength, 40 days. And of course, my big gains come in the, the after the first 20 workouts. So at the end of those 40 days, uh, I jump in and do high rep program like Mass Made Simple. I uh, haven't been squatting for two months, and now I'm squatting 50 plus reps of workout, and I'm dying and I'm sore. The body adapts and changes, adds some mass, some hyper, hy hypertrophy. At the end of those six weeks, I'm kind of staring out going, oh my, I am so sore. So I slide to a, a kind of an easy program, the transformation program. Three whole body workouts a week. Uh, it's three sets of eight with a minute rest on these whole body, these only two whole body movements each workout. And at the end of two or three weeks, my there's a spring in my step. I'm bouncing around again. And then I'm looking to work on the next quality. Uh, James, that is my favorite way to coach. So that you're you're building a, a quality over a one or two month period. Boom! Here's the quality working on. Next month, this quality, uh, especially strength, lends itself to increasing muscle mass. Okay, we got bigger. Well, now we're bigger, but now I'm worried about your speed. So now we move into you know we're gonna get out on the, the we get the speed trap out and work on you know flying thirties or twenties or whatever until your new mass adaption, uh, uh, you didn't lose any speed doing it. And then after you do that, you would slide into the, you know, that, that's how I like to do things. So yeah, you're, it's not unusual. Um, uh, it's, it's not unusual at all. And that's kind of the knock on any of these programs that are linear progressions or you're going to do these three exercises the rest of your life because the body does flatten out. It, it does. Um, I still think there'd be value to, I don't know, I'm just making it up, but you're a bodybuilder all summer, you're an Olympic lifter in the fall, you're a power lifter in the winter, and you're a, a sprinter in the spring. I, I think there's some value to having something done like that. 
uh, I just spitballed that, what I just said, and I think as it sits out there in my mind forest, that's pretty good. Well, I hope that helps, James.